I bet he is, Brian. Well, the Academy Awards under fire for a decision to rescind an Oscar nomination for a song from a faith-based movie, Alone, Knit Not Alone. Well, the Academy claiming its decision was based on integrity after the composer sent an email to 70 of its members asking for them to listen to the song. But many are questioning as to if the decision was really because of the Christian message in the song. Joining us now is Fox News legal analyst Peter Johnson Morning, Jr. Elizabeth. So, what it, is it? It really does pose the question, is this part of the fight for faith? And you see in that video a woman named uh, Joni Erickson Tada, a 60-year-old Christian disability rights advocate. She's a quadriplegic. She sings that song there. Um, and, and so the Academy said, well, no, the Academy should not have known who the composer of that song was, and as a result, they've thrown the song out. This is in an atmosphere where uh, movie studios spend millions of dollars on parties, on ads and variety, Hollywood Reporter, uh, on uh, enormous campaigns for Academy Award nominations uh, and wins, and so they picked on this film a faith-based film uh, based on a, a family immigrating to America um, and the struggles they faced and the faith that they went to in order to stay uh, alive and said, no, we're throwing this particular song out, the Academy Awards. Based on the name being known and, the, and the, what they deem as power being used within the Academy, right? The Academy has a statement here um, that they sent as a former Academy governor and current member of the Music Branch's Executive Committee, Mr. Broughton should have been more cautious about acting in a way that made it appear as if he were taking advantage of his position to due to expert undue influence. At minimum, his actions called into question whether the process was, quote, fair and equitable as the Academy's rules require. But why? I mean, we see films, okay? We see names You're attached so to right. all of these things. Why You're is it so, so right. bad well, to hear Well, they said, the well, he expert. violated this rule. Uh, the, the Academy members were aware that, of the fact of his involvement, and therefore there might have been undue pressure. A lot of people in the movie industry say otherwise. Gerald Molin, who you know from great movies like Jurassic Park, Schindler's List, America 2016, he said, every film director, writer, cinematographer, actor finds a way to pitch or promote their work. Many will see this decision as faith-based bigotry, pure and simple. Uh, then uh, Joni uh, Erickson Tada said, if it was for reasons connected with a faith-based message, it shouldn't surprise us that Hollywood would shun Jesus. She said, Jesus has been shunned by much weedier characters. And she sang the song. And she's well known um, as a minister in Agora Hills, California, as a disability rights advocate for all people, uh, including uh, Christians, uh, a, a speaker, uh, a, a, an author of 40 or 50 books on the Christian message. So a lot of Americans are saying, this seems really weird. Why would you uh, take this particular film sure. that has a faith-based message and then pick on a song, a quite lovely inspirational song? It's up on YouTube. It's had a lot of views uh, already. This picture's coming out in wide release later in the year. It was uh, shown in limited release, so it could be uh, available for Academy sure. considerations. And people are saying, why this picture? Why now? What is this really about? It's difficult uh, to actually know the answer sure. to that, but it poses a tremendous it, it amount of questions. Question. And in clamping down on that Christian message, perhaps, they have also clamped down on, on a woman's message behind the song in the video that we saw, who has her own physical challenges there. I, I, I think, you know, she is a, a, an incredibly courageous person that has, has a great um, a message. And, and it's a shame that a person that has so much to offer and such a beautiful voice that this movie and this song has become scandalized in a way that doesn't seem appropriate, especially when so much time and money is spent in Hollywood to promote Academy Award nominations and considerations. It appears to some, including Mr. Molin and others, to be a double standard mm -hmm. affecting Hollywood because of what this movie is about. Peter Johnson, Jr., thank you for Good drawing you, our attention and light on this subject.